Hello and welcome to my 20th video of my Name for Beginners tutorial series, Module Accept Keyword. In my sixth video of the series, I gave you a brief explanation on what modules are and the simplest way of using them via the import keyword. And now we will expand on that knowledge so that you will be able to use the NIMS standard library without any problems, which could potentially happen if you imported multiple modules containing a procedure with the same name. The most common problem that happens when importing many modules is a naming conflict. This can happen when you import multiple modules that contain a procedure with the same name and arguments, and then try to use one of them. What will happen is that the compiler won't be able to tell which procedure you're actually referring to, trying to use it and throw you an error. This can be resolved by using the accept keyword to exclude the procedure you don't want to use. Let's demonstrate this by importing the strudels and unicode modules and using the split procedure that is in both of these modules with the same arguments, meaning the compiler won't be able to detect which one to use, as the one from strudels splits ASCII characters and the one from Unicode module splits both ASCII and Unicode characters, but its argument for splitting must be of type string, while the Strutels version doesn't care if you give it a char or a string data type. Import Strutels, comma, Unicode. Now that we have both modules imported, let's use the split procedure. This procedure takes a string or a character and then splits it everywhere it finds the second argument's character or characters into substrings. Those substrings will be returned in the form of a sequence of strings. So echo string, let's say hello world, and then call the split procedure on it. Now Visual Studio Code has detected this as a problem. Ambiguous call, meaning the compiler doesn't know which split procedure to use as both look identical to it. Now to fix this, using the previously mentioned accept keyword, all we have to do is type accept procedure name after the module's name we are importing after the import statement to exclude that module's procedure from being imported and used by our program. So accept split. Now because the accept keyword takes a list of procedures to be excluded, you can't import multiple modules in the same line. So we have to put each in its own line. So Unicode in, it, in its own line. So import, remove this comma here, and here we go. Let's run this. Here we go. A sequence of two substrings from the original string. The default way the split procedure splits strings when given no arguments is to split them by empty spaces, white spaces. So let's give it a different character to split with. Let's try O. Now we must use parentheses for this. O character and let's run this now it split it wherever it found o so hell o and then w o and it splits it into three substring remember that when splitting once you get two substring now let's try to use the accept keyword with the unicode module instead now we get an error type mismatch got string char string being our hello world char being the o but expected one of rock split string which we, we have provided and then the second argument arun arun is every unicode character in m a rune data type now like i said before unicode split procedure doesn't take char data type we must give it a string instead that then must be converted to a rune by using the runes procedure from the unicode module so let's make it a string so o and then the runes and right, you know, it works the same. Let's also test it with an actual Unicode only character because O is in both the ASCII table and the Unicode table. ASCII table only contains 256 characters and stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange, which has been in use since forever. You can check the full list in the link in the description. So let's try it with je, je here, and here, and let's see. Here we go. Let where it found je. So this is here. Now there is another way of resolving procedure naming conflicts, ambiguous calls besides the accept keyword. The second way is by using the module's name whose procedure you want to use, followed by a dot procedure name. Let's demonstrate. So let's comment out the accept keyword part. Now there is no naming conflict ambiguous call here because we used to runes procedure from the Unicode module over here. Now to do this the second way, we can't type module's name over here, Unicode, 
dot split because we can't call Unicode onto the string we have over here. We must put this string into parentheses as an argument that. So let's cut this string and put it as the first argument. Comma. And now this will work. And let's run it. Here we go. It works. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. You can also support me on Patreon. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun.